Welcome to a reading vlog. I know this isn't super on brand for me. Me who has skulls and crows and blah de blue de blue, but this mug gives me so much joy. It was kind of an indulgent purchase, but it gives me so much joy. I don't even like sweets and it's covered in little cookies, but every time I look at it, my day gets just a little bit brighter. Worth it? I think so. I also have been drinking a lot more raspberry coffee ever since getting this mug. I think because all the jammy dodgers on it make me think that it needs to taste like raspberry. In any event, that's what's bringing me joy lately. Thought I'd share. But what am I reading? Um, I have finished a lot of what was on my TBR, but I have a couple things left, by which I mean three, even though a couple means two. Don't tell my dad, because my dad's one of those people that will say a couple, and then when someone wants to know how many he means, he screams that a couple means two, except for when he says it casually. And then you give him two and he's like, well, I meant more. And I'm like, well, you said a couple, so. So yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm almost done with my third read of Six of Crows. So I'll probably read that during this vlog. I need to read Winter of the Witch because me and Bethany are buddy reading it and she's already been reading it, but slowly. So I'll probably, honestly, my plan is low key to read this all day today. Did I say this This is going to be a weekend reading vlog? Today is Saturday. I don't think I said anything. It's been a while since I vlogged. Don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, I'm vlogging today and tomorrow. Today will be a reading day. Tomorrow is a filming day. I didn't film at all last weekend because I got my the second dose of my vaccine and it really knocked me out for like 48 hours. So no filming occurred. So I have some catching up to do. I can't not film this weekend. Anyway, so yeah, I'm hoping to devote most of today to reading and then a big chunk of tomorrow to, to filming videos uh, and then also getting some reading done. So anyway, hoping to spend most of today reading this or at least until I finish it so that I can catch up to Bethany. And then I've, I split this, this is the patron buddy read for May and for uh, our chat in the Discord, I split it into six chunks and I've read the first chunk. So I'd like to read the next two chunks so I can be like halfway through. That's a good goal, so that I have the rest of the coming week to finish it. And then I haven't at all touched Sword of Kaigen, which I'm supposed to be buddy reading with my dad, but he read it way ahead of time. So uh, I think it only fair that I read it late. I mean, that's actually not why. It's just basically I keep forgetting about it because I don't have a physical copy of it. So if I don't have it in front of me... <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, I kept looking at my stack. I was like, oh, I'm almost done reading everything that- Oh, fuck, sort of Kaigen. <laughs> These are the four oh, books that I will be reading some part of today and tomorrow. But today, as I said, this is today's goal. Winter of the Witch. Let's fucking do it. Gotta get to class, how dare you 
And how could you? Will you only feel bad if they find out if you could take it all back? Would you try not to abuse your power? I know we didn't choose to change. You might not want to lose your power. The heaven is so strange. I thought that how special you made me feel Like it was my fault You were the devil, lost your appeal Does it keep you in control? Well, I haven't checked in with you, like, verbally since this morning. <laughs> I keep, I mean, I'm, I guess I've made good progress. Um, not as good as I was hoping because I keep stopping. And Knox is bad, I'm actually really loving it. But I went to bed really late last night. I was watching Fringe, as one does, re-watching Fringe. Um, fuck. I haven't been like sleepy enough to take a nap, uh, but I've been kind of like, I don't know, you know how it is when you are running on low sleep, like you're awake, you're not sleepy, but you're not firing on all cylinders. Please be quiet out there. Are you fucking kidding me? I keep changing my clothes too, which like maybe you've seen. I don't know how much of me has been visible. Next time you see me, I'll probably be wearing yet a different outfit. Um, anyway, I'm hungry, hence me eating now. I haven't food shopped in like a month. I considered ordering pizza, I'm not gonna lie. Very nearly did. There's currently a pizza on, in my cart on whichever app I was using. DoorDash, Postmates, who knows. It's like, no, be a good girl. You have food. So I cobbled together a bowl of stuff. Right, so are you shitting me? Can you not? What are you even doing out there? Anyway, yes, Winter of the Witch. I am loving it. It's really good. Third book in a series. So I can't say too much. <laughs> this is a great check-in. I'm doing so good. Mainly just hungry, I think. Why did I want why did I decide to check in while eating? Why didn't I just eat and then check in? Yeah, so I am like a third of the way through. Is that a quarter? A third? A third. Yeah, that's definitely a third. I'm on page 128, which I mean, considering how often I've stopped to watch YouTube videos or make snacks or change my clothes, <laughs> I think that's pretty okay. I do think, honestly, that I can finish this book today. I originally thought I could finish this book and finish Six of Crows. That is looking less likely. Unless this amazing bowl of food that I cobbled together gives me that second wind or I finally take a nap. There is a little mushroom character <laughs> that I am living for. He was only just introduced and I'm squealing a lot over the little mushroom. And it's quite fierce. <laughs> I love it so much. It weirdly made me crave mushrooms, which like I don't want to eat him. <laughs> but in fairness, he gathered mushrooms for Basia to eat. So like, I don't, I'm not going to dig too deep into the like the cannibalism vibes of that. It's very cute. <laughs> I am hooked and curious and quite enjoying it. And I will finish it today. I say that now. I mean, next time I check in, it'll probably be me in my gym jam saying, hey, I didn't finish it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Should be fine.
quarter to midnight and I finished the book. <laughs> oh, I made such good progress um, after my last check-in and then I got a bit cocky and watched, thought I had time to watch a couple of YouTube videos and a couple turned into several and turned into many. <laughs> Don't know where the time went. And for some reason, even though it happens every year, the sun setting later and later completely fucks with me. I like, I thought it was five and I checked my watch and it was like quarter to eight and I was like, Anyway, I finished the book just in the nick of time. Obviously, not gonna be finishing Six of Crows tonight. <laughs> it's not in the cards. Did change my outfit again, as promised. <laughs> I am very tired. I didn't like this as much as the first two. I gave this four stars. I gave the first two each five stars. It was still, it was good, but uh, I was thinking to myself about what I was gonna say. I checked in. And now I've forgotten everything. <laughs> um, well, in any event, um, I felt like this book dragged a bit. I, I'm realizing now that the thing that I was thinking of saying, I can't really say because it's spoilery and there's no real way to be vague. Like, even if I'm vague about it, can't, how, is there a way to kind of say it? A certain thing was resolved, like two thirds through the book, which left this whole whole third where like this thing had already been resolved and now we just like have more stuff happening that I just like don't care that as much about and I don't think anyone cares that much about because like a thing that was a bigger deal was already resolved so like the plot is obviously nothing like this kind of like Game of Thrones when like the Night King was like taken care of in season eight and towards the beginning of season eight and we were like what are we doing for the rest of the season uh, it was like kind of like that and like there's a very specific reason why that had to happen when it did, unlike with Game of Thrones where you're just like, why? That had to happen in order for other things to happen. I get that. Nevertheless, the the book hadn't done a good enough job getting you or me or whoever invested in this other stuff then that would be the only thing left to care about after the thing that I personally was most invested in was already taken care of. So... Again, I get why, but then you needed to get me to buy in to the next bit, and you didn't. <laughs> I feel like that sounds really harsh. I did like it. I gave it four stars. But the first two were better. Girl in the Tower might be my favorite, but then no one is surprised, because most of the time, the second book in a trilogy nearly always is my favorite. Okay, I think <sighs> it's time to go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> morning happy sunday uh which began in a bit of a rush because i had to wash all my dishes make coffee and settle in for the premiere of mara's jane Eyre essay which i've been eagerly anticipating so it is already 10 30 fml for the long video essay worth the watch highly recommend oh my god it's been quiet out there are you serious are you freaking serious right now for goddamn day okay so Gotta film videos today. I'm gonna have to prep for some of them, which is not a thing that I ever do. I uh, usually just turn a camera on and start talking and hope for the best. And I'm not scripting anything, but I do need to prepare a little tiny bit of notes and lists for filming today. And the day is, is a wasting. So I need to do that and then film the videos. And then when I'm done with all of that, then 
then I might be able to like finish Six of Crows or something fun like that. Don't know. I mean, Six of Crows I'm reading just for shits and giggles. Uh, it is not required reading this month. <laughs> Not that any of book team is required. So I should be reading this. But I want to read Six of Crows. Story of my life. Um, yeah. Okay. So I have to do my note stuff, put a makeup on, so that I'm ready for the camera. Unlike now. You're welcome. And film videos. How many do I need to film? Four. Also, I keep rating TBRs for June, and then every single, like, list has forgotten something. I'm trying to compile the, the true final list because I keep like this will have like these specific buddy reads and commitments on it but I missed one then I make a fresh list and it, ha it has the one that I missed but it, it forgot one of the ones from the first list. Uh, I think I finally have a list that has them all on there. I have a lot of commitments in June. I don't know why I thought earlier this month I was like oh June I'll just kind of like read whatever I feel like and then I started writing down my commitments and I was like what else am I filming today? A list video, a discussion video, an overview video, probably something else that I'm forgetting. Ugh, okay, well whatever. I need to do the things and stop telling you about it, okay. Quick update, it is now noon. Is it noon? Yeah, well, it's like 11.55. Um, still haven't filmed anything, but I'm like nearly there. I doubt anyone but me has noticed, or if you, maybe you have, I don't know. But sometimes my videos are like ever so slightly out of focus. Like the bookshelf behind me is like slightly more in focus than me who's in front of it. That's because I have to manually focus my DSLR because the autofocus is really like noisy and shitty. Uh, usually I do pretty okay with this, but every now and again, always when I'm filming an Abercrombie related video, I, I fuck it up. So I finally looked into how to use my computer as an external monitor so that I could actually see it better and focus it better. But I read it quickly and ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> so I tried setting it up and then it wasn't working and then I looked into it some more and I was like, fuck. Um, but it turns out, even though it's like teeny tiny, I do actually have the kind of cord that I need for this and I had it all along. I mean, now that I know what I need, I'm probably gonna invest in a longer one. And the cord that I did buy that I didn't need, it's the wrong one. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. Just go in my box of cords because I am a dad. So after all of that heartache, then I had time. Cause I figured, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll set up my camera. Cause also I ordered this cord like a week ago and I was like, well, I'm not gonna test it out <laughs> because why would I? I'll just wait till the last minute, which I did. And all this happened. So like I was eager to test it out and get it set up and I was like, and then I can relax and prepare my videos. But then it, it was quite an ordeal. So I got it figured out, got it set up, and then started prepping my videos, which now I am kind of done, at least enough to film, but I need to put makeup on. This day is really getting away from me. Make it work! Just thought I'd let you know. I don't know why you'd care about any of this, but maybe you do. In which case, you're welcome. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I filmed some videos. Chaos is evidence of that. I haven't filmed everything that I wanted to film, but it is past three o'clock and my camera is running low on battery. And the last video that I was hoping to film today will be kind of a long one that I need the camera to just be kind of rolling for. So I will either do that tonight or not at all. In the meantime though, I think I'm gonna order pizza. I'm very pooped and I haven't eaten since breakfast and it is 3.11 then I cannot be arsed to cook. Okay, ordering pizza. It's gonna take an hour. What am I gonna do for an hour? I could film a video for an hour, but the battery's out. <laughs> Where's my whole day gone? It's insane. So I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos, waiting for my pizza, and like watching it on the app, and it's been saying that your Postmate is gonna pick up your pizza for like 15 minutes. And it's supposed to be here at 4.15, it's to 4.07 now. And I was like Googling like, does, like, what happens if no one picks it up? Like, what the fuck? And now, while I was Googling that, things have changed. Now it says Uber Eats is picking up my order because an Uber Eats driver that partners with Postmates is gonna pick it up. I don't understand. And he still hasn't picked it up. It's 4.08, I want my fucking pizza. The point of this? <laughs> was because I didn't want to wait for food. I'm being punished by the universe. At this point, I'm like not even, I mean, I am hungry. It's getting to the point where my body's giving up. And we'll keep watching YouTube videos. 
and I will eat pizza. Then I will film my last video. Then I will read Six of Crows. Um, no. <laughs> it is saying no. The order is taking longer than expected. The new ETA is 4.49. The pizza has been ready since 3.45. It is gonna be an hour cold. Why? What have I done to deserve this? I mean, other than ordering takeout instead of making food myself. I could have like made a box of macaroni or something. Yeah, macaroni sounds really good right now. It's mainly because I'm hungry. Carrot sticks sound good right now. It's out for delivery. I got the texty text. Why does it say 34 minutes when his little car avatar is so close to me? Progress is being made. My pizza will still be cold, but, but it'll be here. My stomach's making noises. Soon, my lovely soon. I'm losing my mind. Are we ready for this? I'm fucking ready. I'm having to make it first because I've... Did I tell you what I ordered? Probably not. I forgot to tell them no cilantro. Live and learn. Cilantro. Like so. Of course, the moment that the pizza arrived, my battery reached fully charged status. So I can film now. It's not very spicy. For spicy pizza. It's good though. Oh, oh I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I don't know if it's tasty or if I'm hungry or both. But, um, it's hitting the spot. All is well that ends well. Now I'm thirsty. Well, I am finally done with that. So I have to edit everything. Always takes a million years, but not today. What time is it? It's six o'clock. Oh my god. Well, I have the rest of the evening. I have about two hours left of Six of Crows. Um, I'm not listening to it on audio. I just, on Kindle, it tells you how much time they think is left in the book. Two and a half. So, I think, let's see, if I started it now, I'd be done by 8.30. I'm not going to bed at 8.30. So, I'm gonna continue to be productive and read some of the chat of what was lost until until like 8 or 8 30 and then I'll switch to six of crows and finish it tonight and go to bed on that note so that I can dream of Kaz Brecker. Okay that's that is the plan. I'm so pooped and that last video I filmed I don't even know if it's very good after all that but I did it. It is what it is. Time to read. This fucking rating block. I can't seem to focus, and you don't seem to notice I'm not here. I'm just a mirror. You check your complexion to find your reflections all alone. quite finished um, reading the, the chunk I set myself. The next chunk. Then I mentioned splitting it into chunks, yes, probably, maybe. But I'm checking in now <laughs> because, well, the sun is still up, but that's not actually why. 
<laughs> because they're talking about seeing the king. Uh, oh, he says that one problem, the king isn't there. Tara's smile slipped. What? There's still a delegation, Nahum rushed to assure him, but it's led by the princess. Tara's frowned. Then this is the name of the princess. And I bring this up because that is the Latvian word for queen. That's her name. But Kataliana, spelled exactly like that, is the word for queen in Latvian, which I think is strange. <laughs> and it makes me wonder if this author knew that and thought it would be fun to name his princess the word for queen. I don't know, but as soon as I saw that, I was like, what now? Yeah, Kataliana. I don't, that's gonna, how I'm gonna have to pronounce this. Because that's, that's a word to me and that's how you say that word. I don't know. Maybe I should like pull up the audiobook. Maybe someone can tell me. If you've listened to the audiobook of this book, how does, how does uh, Michael Kramer say Kataliana? Because that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> and I'm having trouble picturing Michael Kramer say Kataliana. Carly, Cara, Caroline? Uh, yeah, I bet he says Caroline. I bet, I bet. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Ugh. Ugh. Nearly done. This book that I'm not loving. Everyone was right. I low key hate it. Okay, finished to my to my marker, to my checkpoint. I've read actually quite a bit of this book. I feel like I'm still in the beginning of it. So I still don't feel very invested in anything that's going on or any one that's in it. This feels like like it was written by a child. <laughs> Except that it was, it's, it's, it's weirdly, I, I don't know, there's, there's this weird juxtaposition because like the writing itself, the characters, how they talk, everything feels really childish and kind of badly written. But then like, it just has these like spurts of just like really aggressively gory, violent stuff, which kind of just like happens. It's like watching The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody but then every so often Tarantino just like directs a scene. But then we go back to the sweet life of Zack and Cody and then Tarantino and then the sweet life of Zack and Cody and then Tarantino. It's, it's, it's jarring. It doesn't fit the tone. It's just like kids being whatever and then like blood. <laughs> You're like kids being whatever blood. Also, I just like, I feel like this cover, I don't know, these look like adults, but not the ages of the characters and their behavior is really childish. Like all the characters, like this feels like YA, like really young YA. Yeah, I'm not loving this. <laughs> but you're orange, how could you? It is just a little past 8.30. So, it's time to finish Six of Crows. I've earned a good book. Yeah, this is a good book. Do I change into a Six of Crows jumper? Or is that too extra? Because I've made such a substantial effort, I wanted to show it off. From my Ketterdam jumper to my... Oh, don't fall. Six of Crows socks. My decaf s'mores flavoring coffee.
Well, it is a quarter to midnight and I finished Six of Crows. Oh, so good. Literally read the last sentence and then as I was closing the book, just said, so good, so good. It's so freaking good. If you haven't read Six of Crows, why not is my question. <laughs> It's so, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Yeah, definitely way better than The Shadow of What Was Lost. Yikes. Funnily enough, again, I don't really like, I don't like shitting on YA because there's a lot of amazing YA and YA gets shat on enough. But like, this feels so much more adult and grown up and mature and well executed and the prose is better and the characters are better and, and it's just so much more than The Shadow of What Was Lost. But this is YA. And that's adult fantasy. I guess, I mean, like, it's a very, like, backhanded compliment, I guess. You, forgive me. This is on my top ten favorite books of all time, so I'm allowed. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, for all the shitting on YA, like, this is YA. And that is adult. I'm just saying. It's so good. <laughs> Gotta read Crooked Kingdom. It's not on my TBR for June, but Six of Crows was not on my TBR for May, and I read it anyway. Maybe I'll just read Crooked Kingdom in May as well, instead of Sword of Kaigen and Shadow Hope Was Lost. Anyway, I think that'll about do it for this vlog. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. I had a great time reading Six of Crows. <laughs> anyway, yes, let me know all the things in the comments down below. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe, join my Patreon, or don't, and I'll see you when I see you. This is like my fifth time saying this today because of all the filming I did. <laughs> see you when I see you.